They are the poison arrows of modern football, counter-attack goals. The perfect run and the perfect finish. We analyze how to score the perfect counter-attack goal. Let's start with the definition of a counter-attack. The main prerequisite is that it must start from the attacking team's own half. Like in this match with Gladbach vs Bayern. The ball is won behind the halfway line. The distance to goal is still 56 meters. Now all it takes is a long pass into the middle and Jonas Hoffmann is free to run at Manuel Neuer. What's interesting here is that Gladbach have just 35% possession, Bayern 65. The comparison of the attacking zone shows Gladbach, the counter-attacking team, attack mainly through the center, whereas Bayern, the possession team, attack mainly down the wings. Hoffmann leaves Neuer with no chance. It's Hoffmann! And then a perfectly placed finish. Especially when Bayern play at home, their opponents often employ counter-attacking tactics. This is clearly visible when comparing Leipzig's starting lineup with the actual tactical formation. In the game, it looks like this. Leipzig defend deep, their nominal centre forward Emil Forsberg drops back and acts as a relay station for the counter-attack. This means the midfield can be bypassed via the shortest route. And that's just what the wingers were waiting for. Forsberg plays the killer pass. Neuer's come but doesn't get there. Typical Leipzig on the counter. So swift, so devastating. Counter-attacking football is the underdog's preferred way of playing. Last season, newly promoted Bielefeld was specialists. When the opportunity arises, however, it all has to happen quickly. Armenia's Jakub Larsson makes a bold sprint into space after winning the ball and now realizes he has very little time to take advantage of having a man over. The rule of thumb is the goal must be scored within 10 seconds of winning the ball and Bielefeld succeed. And scored by close. It's a captain's goal. In the 2020-21 season, Bielefeld scored almost every fourth goal through counter-attacks, and it even worked against Bayern. The formula here, vertical passing. Here, a long ball is played to centre forward Fabian Close. However, the Bielefeld captain isn't the quickest these days, so he has to wait for his teammates to join the attack. Ritsu Doan arrives right on time. The Japanese youngster now has plenty of options, but here he opts for the cheeky variant. Doan, fast feet, oh, and took it really well. In this move from the match between Leverkusen and Gladbach, the ball is intercepted. And of the two vertical options, Edmund Tabsova correctly chooses the deepest possible one. This opens up a lot of space for Leverkusen's Musa Diaby, which he bridges at top speed. We also see another four-on-three situation, which Argentine hitman Lucas Alario finishes with a wonder goal. Lucas Alario! Oh, what a strike by the Argentine! Of course, the German champions have also mastered the art of the counter-attack. Bayern scored 11 of their 99 goals last season through quick counter-attacks, almost twice as many as all other Bundesliga teams. Here in the match against Dortmund, they cover the 81-metre distance from their own penalty area in just a few seconds. The Bayern players engulf the Dortmund goal like an avalanche. Zane makes short work of it. Cutting inside on his favourite left foot! Let's move on to the most important aspect of counter-attacking, speed. In Leroy Zane, Bayern have an exceptional counter-attacking player. The Germany international was the fastest man on the pitch in the season opener against Schalke. In this counter-attacking situation, Zane displays incredible acceleration, going from 18.8 km per hour to a whopping 34.5 in just four seconds. Simply too fast for the Schalke defense. He's through. One on one with Ralph Fairman, and Sané gets his goal. And here's another situation with Sané from the same game. Benjamin Pavar wins possession seven meters behind the halfway line. Now Joshua Kimmich gets to the ball and spots Sané setting off on the perfect run. A deep chip, then Sané skillfully takes the ball down and shows he's also an excellent provider. Lays it off to Gnabry. Same recipe for success for Bayern. A 
And now we come to the perfect attacking player, Erling Haaland, here in the match against Gladbach. The Norwegian force of nature reaches the halfway line with 18 steps in this counter-attack, with a stride measuring 2 meters and 11 centimeters. And something unbelievable happens. Haaland, now in high-speed mode, once again increases his stride to 2 meters 40. And he's not only able to maintain this pace, but also stay focused and finish off the move. It's Erling Haaland! Here's another example of Haaland's phenomenal sprinting ability. In this situation, the Norwegian is initially 4 meters behind Wolfsburg's Maxi Arnold. But after just 5.5 seconds, that turns into a 4 meter lead. Watch Haaland race away from Maximilian Arnold, who initially had the advantage, but just couldn't stay with him. The same again from a different angle. While Mo Dahoud makes the through pass, Haaland also sprints against Maxence Lacroix, last season's fourth fastest player. But even with the ball, Haaland is quicker than the Frenchman. Away goes Erling Haaland, stretching his legs. Haaland! The perfect counter-attack. Erling Haaland showed us how it's done. Which counter-attack goal did you like best? Let us know in the comments.